We're going to Yukanic. Today here on Yukanic, we have a 2017 Jaguar XE. On this Jaguar XE, it has the 3.0 V6 supercharged engine in it. And we have our check engine light is on. And so we are going to check it and see what it is, what, that's, what the sensor is reading that is causing it to go off, and discuss how you replace that component. So to start with, we have the engine in the run, or the ignition is in the run position, but not started. And so then we have this OBD2 scanner hooked up, the UCAN2. You're going to go from the main screen where you select your vehicle, and then we're going to select the Jaguar. We hit the Smart VIN, and then it brings up all the information about the XE. Then we hit Yes. And then we're going to go into Diagnosis. We want a control module because we know that we want to just check the engine. So we're looking at the power control module, and then we hit the read the codes. And this is the code we have, is the exhaust uh, B camshaft, the uh, position actuator in bank one, and that's what we're looking at, it's bank one. And we're having an issue with our exhaust B. It's saying it's intermittent. The other one above it would say intake A, because these sensors are stacked, so you have A at the top and B at the bottom, but our exhaust uh, actuator is the bottom one. So to gain access to that, you're going to pop this cover off. Remove that cover and that's just held on by some grommets. We have a number 10 millimeter bolt that you need to remove from right here. There's three clamps to remove to get this air system out of the way. A seven millimeter here, seven millimeter down here onto the intake, as well as a seven millimeter on the other side of the air box because you have two air boxes on this vehicle. We're able to remove those and pop that out. And once you've removed and popped that out, we're trying to get to the sensor that's right down here, which is our exhaust sensor. So to gain more access, so that we can do it without having to take off the, the cooling lines. Yeah, because if you don't need to remove the cooling lines, why would you? It's going to be, there's some tight space in there. And we have a 30 uh, millimeter, or as a, a T30 on the top, T30 on the bottom to loosen. Um, take this air box out, give us some more space. And to remove this air box, you just need to, it's a 10 millimeter over here on the side. And then you can just pull up on the air box. The rest of it is just held in by the, uh, the grommet down there. And you can pop this air box out and it gives you a better access to get down in here to replace the sensor. Then you would just go ahead and undo the two T30s and remove those. And then you'll be able to pop the sensor off. Also undo your electric connector here and pull that out. And that's a, is a magnetic type sensor that as your um, cam goes around, it reads the magnet on the sprocket. And so you would replace that and then put it all back together. And then you would clear your code with your, your scanner. Then you'll start and run the vehicle. And if this, if it doesn't come back immediately, well, that could be one thing to replace, but it could potentially come back within a week or so. And if it does, then there's something more that you're going to need to look at and maybe the electric wire has some fray in it or maybe the um, potential is your timing is getting out because the chain is stretched and that would be a, a lot uh, bigger job to do. If